So we're going to gas rate this warm air unit. Okay. Now, have a look at the data badge, a few of you, and tell me what you can work out from the data badge about this type of appliance. Have a look. How many readings have you got in there? Three. We've got three different readings in there. Yeah. So what does that tell us about this gas appliance? Three We've got three, three options. options. Yeah. It's range. So it's range rated. Right? It's a range rated appliance. So what have we got to do before we can gas rate this appliance? Is that the range point? We've got to see what range it's on. I mean, we've got to we've got to take the burner pressure. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the burner pressure. Okay. Now we will go into a little bit more detail about this next week, okay? but we're going to take the burner pressure from the multifunctional control valve. As we looked at earlier, we've got a, a regulator in there. Okay. Now on the multifunctional control valve, you'll see that we've got two test points, okay? two test nipples. Now it's quite easy to work out what does what, okay? All we're going to do is follow the gas supply in, okay? So if we follow the gas supply in to the top of the multifunctional control valve, the test point that's closest to the inlet is going to be the inlet pressure, okay? And then if we follow it through to where the gas comes out to the burner, that test point is going to be the burner pressure test point, isn't it? Okay. Now, before we take out any test nipple, we always isolate the gas, don't we? Okay. So at the moment, I've got the gas off on the gas meter. So I can take out, or not completely take out, I can loosen the burner pressure test point. Okay. And then I can do all the usual checks on the gauge, it's got enough water in it, it's in good condition, and I can connect. Now this is where you need to be careful, because you need to make sure that gauge doesn't tip over. So you don't want to go leaving gauges unattended unless you're happy that it's very secure. Okay. Now I can put the gas on, and now we can light this warm air unit up. Pilot's on, so we can pop the warm air unit on. Oh, if we turn the plug on. Okay, so the burner's away, now the burner's burning. Okay. So, reading the gauge nice and accurately, I'm going to get my eyes down level, and I'm going to make sure that it's reading the same both sides of the gauge. So I reckon we've got 12.5 millibars, okay, 12.5 millibars. So I'm happy with that reading. Now if we weren't happy with that reading, next week we're going to go into how we adjust the burner pressure if necessary, okay. But I'm happy with 12.5. So I'm going to turn off the warm air unit. I'm going to turn off the gas, I'm going to remove our test equipment and I'm going to screw back in the test point. Now because I've opened the test point, what am I always going to do? 
to check for a leak. I'm always going to make sure that that's not leaking. Okay. So to do that, we need to fire the burner up. So gas back on. Okay, fire it back up, burner's on, and I can just put a layer of leak detection fluid over that test point and see if it's bubbling, which it isn't. So I can now wipe that off. Okay, any questions? No, I feel that. We've got a burner pressure of 12.5 millibars, okay? So have a look on the data badge, data plate, and see if you can find a burner pressure of 12.5 millibars. <coughs> yeah, that's it. Burner pressure 12.5. So what range are we on? We're on the middle range. Okay, so what is the heat input of the middle range? 11.6, net or gross? Gross. So it clearly says in the middle range, heat input 11.6 kilowatts gross. Okay, so we're going to gas rate it then, aren't we? Alright. Burner on. Happy days, get your pens ready. Point two three seven. Point two three seven. So we're going to time it for how long? Two minutes. Two minutes. So you could work out the tolerance, couldn't you? While we're waiting for that. You can work out the tolerance. So 5% of 11.16, and then we'll be able to work out our tolerance either side. So you can do your calculations now. So that's in two minutes. So times by thirty. Yep. Calculation. 12.73, 12.74, okay. So we're a fraction over, aren't we? We've worked out 12.54 kilowatts gross, so we're a fraction over. So what's the maximum we can be then? 11.6 is the stated. So if we add on 5% of 11.6, what's the maximum we can have? Twelve point one six. Twelve point one six. Okay, so we've got twelve point one six. So we're slightly over, aren't we? Okay. Any <coughs> questions? Good. Well done.
So light it up, same pictures, yeah. 